Thank you, good sir. I love you, Zach. I love you too, man. Moving right along. Alright, I'm Zach, as most of you know. And whenever I was asked to do this, I, all week, was thinking of all these different ideas of what to talk about, teach, whatever, and um, it wasn't until very recently, I was not procrastinating, I want that to be understood, it wasn't until very recently that I was willed to speak this, and what I wanted to talk to you guys about was this little guy right here, the Bible, most right. of you have read some of it, and I just want to <laughs> remind everybody that um, this is the deepest book ever in the history of the world, and there's so much in it that we overlook whenever we open it. Like, um, I was at Jeremiah 14, 19, and at first glance, because I just flip around through the Bible, I would not try and read the whole thing yet. I'm working on it. But um, I read something, and basically it was saying that all the people were asking for forgiveness and that they were apologizing to God and God said no it I'm not gonna forgive you and that blew me away I thought whenever you asked God for forgiveness that was it he just said yes and so I was really confused and I talked to Pastor Travis about it and he really explained it really went into detail explained all of it to me and now I know this little pack it a little better and I didn't want to bug him with this one so I researched it myself on the internet and it's a very reliable source I promise <laughs> Matthew 5 16 it says that we should do our good deeds publicly for all to see and then on the next page the very next page Matthew 6 1 it says do your good deeds in private so no one can see and what? That really confused me. So I looked it up, and basically what I found is that um, he, it's a very delicate balance, he wants our motivation to be right. Yes. He wants us to do good deeds in public to reflect God, so that way Amen. people see God in us, so that way we're better Christians. And then in 6.1, he says not to do it for our own honor, because that's not what Christians do. Christians are to reflect, reflect God and the Lord. And Alright, so I just wanted to remind you guys to do your research, don't just skim over the Bible, it's, we still, out of everybody in the whole world, collectively, over the ages, we still don't understand it all, so just, whenever you're reading, do your research, do your homework, figure it out. Um, the website I used was www.biblegateway.com, yes. yeah. and the pastor I used was that one over there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.